So what are mini shock arresters? So here we have a cold feed with a water meter on, single check valve, it comes up, here we have the boiler, plate to plate, your heat exchanger, comes out of the hot water tap, across to a sink. So here we've got one problem, we've got a water meter and a single check valve. So that stops the water going backwards so it can't allow for any expansion. The boiler, no issues there. And here the hot water pipe work. Comes across to the basin. But the problem here is there's not much um, room, is there? So that could be a second issue. The third issue could be the boiler. So the boiler, that could have plastics in. And if it's got preheat on, where the boiler just fires up to heat what's inside the heat exchanger, that could compact some pressure. So let's say, for example, with the boiler, there you've got the burner. I'll get to 75 degrees, and that could be about 1.5 bar. Here, this will get to 65 degrees, and that, with the taps not working, the taps off, that could get to as much as 30 bar. So here we have the boiler, and it's fired up for hot water. The tap's running away, it comes in, the plate to plate's getting nice and warm, it runs in, it's running away, and the pressure's about right. And here you can see the expansion vessel, the mini shock arrest looks getting nice and hot. But let's take for example, if you turn the tap off, if you turn the tap off, and the boiler fires up momentarily under preheat, or it needs, it needs some space to expand, so here we are. So here we have, the tap is now off, but the ball is fired up momentarily or is switched off. You've got all the hot water, it's got nowhere to go. So what happens is, the mini shock arrester has now filled up. So basically, rather than all this plastic pipe or copper pipe burst under pressure, the shock arrester is now gone. And what is a mini shock arrester? So here we have a nice drawing. Here's a mini shock arrester, it's full of cold water and it's charged up there, there you've got a little Schrader valve so you put your bike pump on, you charge it up to one or two bar the water gets hot and you see the diaphragm, that's a neoprene diaphragm inside and look how it's, it's opened up to absorb the expansion releasing the pressure off the system and there it's gone cold again and that is a mini shock arrestor here we have a shock arrestor or mini shock arrestor this is good at preventing water hammer as well so that's the Schrader valve you put your pump on there so if you want to overhaul it turn the water off drain the water out so there's no pressure either side put your foot pump on and charge it to whatever manufacturers say could be as little as two bar and the ring that's where the near neoprene diaphragm is so here's the cold water main the hot water is just over there so the idea is the ball is working now, the hot water is not running, so to absorb the pressure and the expansion, it moves the diaphragm up and down, so it prevents the actual system overheating and expanding.